I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on probability. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, I'm a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific, as well as the author of the Dat Destroyer book and the developer of the Orgoman products. I want to go over a question with you with Professor Blois, who brings over 40 years of experience into mathematics. He was actually my probability and statistics teacher in college, and I'm honored that he's going to do this video for us. And I get a lot of my students who ask questions on this area of probability. What to expect for the dad and put it into some nice, easy English without any derivations or anything of that sort. So, Professor, if you give us the honor to work a problem with us that we okay. might see for the DAT. Sure, right. absolutely, Thank Professor you, Royce here. Let's first read the problem together. A drawer contains nine blue socks and four red socks. Beatrice reaches into the drawer and picks out two socks at random. Okay, first question. What is the probability that both socks are the same color? Now, we're looking for a probability of two blue socks or two red socks. Now, how are we going to model this? Uh, if a question may, came up, may come up, do we treat this as uh, a selection with replacement or without replacement? So it's interesting, the two socks are pulled out simultaneously, but the way they're modeled is if they're done sequentially, one after the other. So what we're looking for, let's write this down, we're looking for the probability of blue and blue, right? That's two socks of the same color, or the other outcome is probability of red and red. So let's fill in the details. When we're looking for the, uh, uh, the occurrence of two events in sequence, we're going to use the product of probabilities. And when we're looking for the one event or another, we're going to use the sum of probabilities. So and in this probability problem is going to turn into a product of probabilities, and or is going to turn into a sum. Okay, so let's go, let's go ahead of this. What's the, what's the uh, probability that I'm going to pull up, that Beatrice is going to pull a blue sock out of the drawer. Well, there's a total of 13 socks in the drawer, and there are nine blue socks. So that means the probability of picking a blue sock, okay, probability of blue is going to be 9 over 13. Now, what's the probability that she's going to pick out another blue sock? Well, now there are only 12 socks in the drawer and only eight blue socks left. So the probability of picking two blue socks is 9 over 13 times 8 over 12. Now let's go to the probability of red and red. The probability of choosing a uh, red sock is going to be, well, there are four red socks over 13 out of a total of 13 socks. Once that red sock is chosen, there are only 12 socks total left in the drawer, but only three red socks. So we're looking for this event, the probability that there are two blues or the probability that there are two reds here are the numbers, and we're going to add those two probabilities up. So let's see, this uh, should be easy. 8 divided by 12, 4 goes into 8 twice, into 12 three times. 3 goes into 9 three times. 3 times 2 is 6, so that's 6 thirteenths plus, and let's see, if I, 4 goes into 12 three times, the 3's cancel, that's 1. So it's 6 thirteenths plus 1 thirteenth, and the answer is 7 Thirteenths. So that's the probability of picking two socks out of that drawer that are the same color. Now let's go to part B. What is the probability that the two socks that Beatrice chooses are of different color? That is one blue and one red. All right, well let's write the formula for that. We, want, we have to consider both outcomes, red first, blue second, or blue first, red second. Remember, that's how we're modeling when we take two socks out simultaneously, one at a time. Pro probability of blue and red, or probability of red and blue. Okay, so this is going to be probability of blue times the probability of red, plus the probability of red times the probability of blue. Now we go back to the numbers, let's see, the probability of, well, probability of blue, that's going to be 9 out of 13. Okay, once you, once that one sock is chosen, there are only 12 socks remaining in the drawer, but there are four red socks, so that's going to be 
four. The probability of choosing a red sock after you've chosen that blue is four out of 12. Likewise, over here, the probability of choosing a red first is four out of 13. And once that red sock is chosen, there are only 12 socks left in the drawer, but there are a total of nine blue socks. Notice that these two fractions are equivalent. So let's uh, compute them. Four goes into 12 three times, three goes into nine three times. So that's three thirteenths. The second fraction is also three thirteenths. So it's three thirteenths plus three thirteenths. And the answer is six thirteenths. And there's the answer to that. And I want you to notice that six thirteenths is the complement of seven thirteenths. Add the two up and you get 13 thirteenths. So that's uh, the, how to solve those problems. Yes. I like to just say one final thing. When I, when I was a student, I used to sit in my organic chemistry class. Um, my organic teacher was nominated for the 1969 Nobel Prize in Organic Chemistry. I was taught by the, one of the last of the great German organic chemists. The way I was electrified in organic chemistry, I got to admit, I'm as electrified as I was in the organic classes I am with you. Oh, right. Sir, I am so honored to have you here I'm and flattered. doing these problems. I'm not a math guy. I'm a chemistry guy. I'm a science guy. But I can honestly say I follow this so unbelievably clear that I hope the students get as much out of this and understand what they're seeing with this unbelievable professor going over this and donating his time and all his energy making up these problems for you and it's all free to help you guys out all right at any rate um we'll see you guys in study group if you have any questions for those that are coming to my groups in new york you'll get a chance to summit to meet professor blois okay guys bye bye